Hey everyone, went to the thrift store, picked up a couple of uh, copper pans and a few other things. So follow along, I'll share with you what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so I paid $62.44 at the thrift store uh, for all these items. Let me quickly go through it. All right, first off, a couple of pair of Allen Edmonds. All right, um, beautiful, it was just flat. I paid uh, 13, $13 for it. I'm gonna flip for about $80, $79 I'll list it for another pair of pair of Allen Edmonds. I uh, paid $12.91 for $13 for it. I'm going to flip these for about $50. Bucks. Um, also picked this up um, for $3. Um, I already have one in uh, this pair, so I'm going to show you what happens here. How great it looks. Um, as you can see, boom, easy flip. Also pick up a pair of buckles. These goes for about $30. Bucks. I put it up for $35. I'll sell it for $30. They pay for the shipping. All right, so that is going to pay uh, for all my pans plus some, right? First off, I bought a lid, uh, 99 cents. I'm going to take this off and put a decorative handle on it, um, and I'll share that with you. I picked up a Pamper Shift slicer. This is to put kind of corrugated stuff on the carrots. Uh, I think I paid paid two bucks for it. Right? I'm going to keep this, and uh, let's go to the really nice stuff here. So copper pans. Um, seven dollars no let's say six dollars six dollars um le oh i can't pronounce it lacanstina um three ply copper outside aluminum core 1810 uh stainless i'll clean off the inside i'll share with you how i shine this up real simple with vinegar and salt i right, also picked these all these up eight inch saucepan uh, actually eight inch frying pan saucepan chef pan i don't know um four bucks and a saucepan actually actually really heavy um you can see some stains here uh, it doesn't take much to clean that up on the inside uh, improper cooking um, and i'll show you how to clean that up also with vinegar and salt and some and this was five dollars all right so let's get started on cleaning all right so let's start with the lid you know take the sticker off wash it put one of these uh a decorative handle on this happened to be a rooster and this is what you're gonna get nice right right on top of the pan and you have a beautiful lid all right all right so uh, what you're gonna need is a vessel some vinegar why is the vinegar kind of dingy what I did is I took some vinegar and I run it through the coffee pot and I clean my coffee pot now this is the byproduct which is just you know stained vinegar um, a pan, as you can see, I take a sock, an old sock or a rag, I wipe it down. You can't can see anything at all. There's that vinegar pretty much did nothing to uh, to this pan. Uh, socks wise, uh, holes are optional. All right. So what I do is I take a little salt, put it on the pan, put it in my vinegar, like a whole bunch of salt in my vinegar. I don't know how much a bunch of salt is, but anyways, so there it is, right? I'll take it and I start wiping the pan with the salty, with the salted vinegar. All right. And as you can see, it's starting to change color. It's taking that patina off. All right. I do like the patina. However, these pans needs a good cleaning. So I'll do this, and then it is hammered copper, right? I'll do this, and you can actually see it change. The color will change to a shiny copper. So I don't know if you can see it from before and then after. Let's see. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to clean these three pans and... Stay tuned because I'll post a slide slideshow of the outcome immediately after I clean.